All right, guys, here we go. Uh, first things first, baseball tryouts were postponed today. It's raining, so Nick and Matt are here. We're going to put cameras on the boat for the approach for the year. So let Nick take over and get it up. Now I'm going to try to get my mess ready for Toledo Bend. All right, so like you said, we leave in four days for the first time of the year. And so part of what we're going to be doing is getting content constantly. So we're going to put three of these guys on the boat. We have a couple of challenges here, a couple of things that's going to make that difficult. One, we want to make sure that we're out of the way because I don't want to interfere with anything that Hank is going to be doing while he's fishing. I don't want to mess up his flow state at all. And then two, we need to make sure that we constantly have power and memory on the camera so that way we can actually get everything done. So for that, we've got these power banks that we're going to be attaching as well. So that's kind of the mission today is to get this stuff attached, get it to a point where it's out of the way, where it's not going to affect him being a professional angler. And yeah, that's where we're going to go from there. We'll check in in a second. Can't do it in Texas that without the glide bait rod. <clears throat> Let me get your input on this angle. This area right here. If I were to mount something right there, would that be in the way of anything for you? Because I know you're probably, you're going to be opening this rod locker. I'm going to try and keep it as flush to the wall as I can. I mean, obviously, most of the time you're going to have a marshal or a cameraman sitting here. Yeah, but if he's landing fish there, yeah, I, like, that's the only you're, issue. You're, you're going to be here. It's, it's not like it's going to get most of the time. Most of the time, I sit. Right here. right here. I'll sit up against the rail when I go to land fish. Up against here. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I want to have a way that I can get your own to do. Where's your windshield going to be? This whole area right here? Well, I pretty much look like Okay. So if we put something right here, would that be an issue? On the red? Okay. What are we doing there, Jonesy? So we want to make sure that we get a good stick because we don't want him flying 70 miles an hour across the water and the camera flies off. Because then we don't have footage, you don't have footage. So we want to make sure it's nice and clean. I use Windex for this kind of thing because it's not super abrasive like most cleaners would be. And it usually gives a decent streak-free shine to it. Let that sit for about a minute before we start trying to mess with it. Give that adhesive a good chance to bond and then it should be good to go. I'm looking at this mount. This one's gonna be significantly more versatile because this way we have two angles. That way if we need to, this bad boy can become a face forward or a face back angle and we can always have one pointing up towards towards the front. So I like that. And these are pretty solid. They're not going anywhere. I'm not really worried about the micro vibrations in it because stabilization's solid in those bad boys. DJI, Osmo Action 4. We don't have an affiliate link yet, but we're working on it. When you say you're sitting to land the fish, you're sitting here and landing the fish there. It's not scripted. I could end up anywhere. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm just kind of walking well, walk no, all the way through. Well, no, if you roleplay like a really big 10 to 9 to 10 pounder, <laughs> roleplay that one. <laughs> That's the only one to roleplay. So that, I mean, the camera needs to be as flush as possible against that sidewall. Yeah. You, you know, that's basically it. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the whole idea. So, in our efforts to make sure we don't get in his way. We had to switch up the mounts that we were using to a sideways mount. So that way I can get a little closer to the wall. But I mean, that's the most important thing to us. Like, yes, we're, we're out there to get great content. We wanna make sure that the content that we're bringing to you guys, which we have some awesome stuff in store whenever we're on the tour. Um, we wanna make sure that, that content's awesome, but we also wanna make sure that Hank catches fish and we don't wanna be a nuisance in his boat, you know? In his, in his landing yeah. process. I was about to say, if, 
If I'm the reason why he can't yank that 13 pound monster out of Toledo event next week, that's going to be a rough day for me. Go literally right up under the camera. Keep it super flush. Should be just fine right there. That way, if, if it won't be any more of a inconvenience than the camera is, so that should be just fine. Oh yeah, they need bottom we'll, support. We'll have support for it to where it's not gonna go anywhere. That, that's, that's, that's something that I, I'll MacGyver and make happen regardless. All I need is a, a battery, a paper clip, and a roll of duct tape, we're good. And then we'll have that one back there, right back here, that's just facing the whole length of the boat. So now we're just testing the field of view of this, making sure we can get the shot that we need. This will supply power the whole day, and the memory card on here has enough storage to hold 4K footage for 10 hours and 12 minutes. So plenty of footage for everything that we're gonna need on the tour. All right guys, so here we are, we're done. Uh, that's the kind of the camera setup for this year. I don't really like cameras, so I'm gonna see how many I can knock off riding around the lake. We got more <laughs> content coming, it's gonna be a great year. Looking forward to it, so hit that subscribe button and pay attention and stay tuned and come on the travels with me and we'll see what happens in 2024. Next time we'll see it, we'll be at Toledo.